All right, y'all, here's your latest update on the Black China versus Alexis fight that went down over there at Six Flags. So TMZ posted a couple of articles on Monday, April 2nd of 2018. I'm going to read them to you real quick. The first one is titled Black China. I went nuts at Six Flags because I got called a hood rap. Here's what they wrote. Black China's Six Flags stroller freakout started when some kid touched her baby girl and all hell broke loose when one phrase was uttered in her direction. Hood rap. Sources close to the situation tell TMZ that the girl who made contact with Baby Dream began shouting at China shortly afterward, calling her the derogatory term. The girl began inching closer to China as well, causing BC's entourage to step in to block China. We're told the instigating girl ended up pushing one of China's friends and a fist fight broke out. Meanwhile, Dream and King were both whisked away by their nanny before all the mayhem. That's what I thought. I figured that they got the kids up out of there because I couldn't see them or hear them. As we reported, China addressed the public meltdown by saying she was simply defending her daughter and expressed she would protect her children, quote, at all cost. While it would seem that dream safety would be enough to set China off, it appears that the final trigger was the term hood rat. Wow, I know some of y'all are going to say in the comments, truth hurts. Come on, leave China alone. Her booty is too big for you to treat her like that. Anyways, <clears throat> the other article is titled, Black China Stroller Fight, Quote Unquote Victim, Comes Forward, Claims China's Boyfriend Punched Her. And, you know, there's, there's a link to it on my blog and whatnot. She had a short interview with TMZ, but. They wrote Black China's 18 year old boyfriend allegedly attacked two teen girls at Six Flags just minutes before China was seen throwing her daughter's stroller around like a weapon. We got Alexis, who's also 18, speaking out for the first time about Sunday's melee, which she says started when she spotted China's daughter Dream in a stroller. Alexis says Dream was being pushed by a nanny and Alexis complimented the nanny on how cute Dream was. Alexis claims she patted Dream's hand, which China noticed and warned her not to touch the kid. And 15 min minutes later, threatened to whoop her ass. Think about it. 15 minutes later. Threat. Anyways, Alexis claims the physical altercation started with China's boyfriend, YBN Almighty J, punching her and her sister several times. Alexis claims she never traded blows with China. And six flat. Wait, I could have sworn she said that she smacked her. Anyways, unless unless the person going around telling the story was lying, unless that was a different person or unless she lied. But anyways, Alexis claims she never traded blows with China and Six Flags security quickly intervened, advising everyone to go on their way without filing a report. A source close to China tells us the reality star snapped because China called her a hood rat. Alexis denies that. All right, y'all. So what do you guys think? Who's telling the truth? Who's lying? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Hit the notification button is right next to the subscribe button. Looks like the bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts to be notified when new videos get posted. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment, and notify.